Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with a full case of 2019 Panini Prism Football 12 box. Pick your team number six from Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these folks for getting into the action. We'll also have Nick's help as well. So above my head will be the Nick Cam. There it is. And here are the uh, names, teams right here. Robert, Last Spot Mojo, Double Last Spot Mojo. You got the Panthers and the Bucks. Someone asked for more random team football. We have that mixer on. Let's do the mixer. Yeah, let's do the mixer. That's a... Uh, you got honors in there. I like the 10 boxes. I think... The mini helmet boxes? Ten, full 10 box case of mini helmets. I like those. You have, I think, some cases in there, maybe? There's some nice boxes in there. Let's make myself a little room here. I'm going to slice this box room. I don't know. Those, were, those random teams weren't exactly flying off the shelves, though. What, a prism? Yeah. Yeah. I probably won't put something prism. Then we have translucent to sell out impeccable. That's, that's, impeccable's already sold out, folks. We should, we should get that knocked out. There's 10 spots, so you got basically a 50% chance of getting in impeccable. And you can get, like, a Jimmy Garoppolo, which I bet. I mean, yeah, with the undefeated Niners. Yeah. That might be near 100 bucks. I don't think we've hit any number cards from that, have we? Out of what? Uh, translucent? No, I don't think there are numbered cards. Are there? I don't to be? know. I think there might be one of one only. Oh, okay. So it's just all base autos and then a one of one? Uh, yeah. I mean, we haven't really pulled anyone huge in that translucent. Yeah. I think Jason made a Garoppolo. Oh, that's pretty cool. A couple weeks ago. Like, we haven't pulled a, like, a Odell. Yeah, Odell. Now. Maybe a, maybe a Jarvis Landry. Devontae Adams. I don't think we've hit. Adams, yeah. Khalil Mack, I think he's in that set, right? Maybe not. He might be. He done, was Khalil Mack 2014? Yeah. Derek Carr, we haven't seen, really. No, I don't, I don't think we've seen a Derek Carr. All right, so here is the first. So each stack that you'll eventually start seeing grow right over here will be... Um, will all be one box. So let's breeze through these. There's Alshon Jeffrey to 199. We'll set those aside. And we'll sleeve and top load those before they get sorted and, and shipped out. Julian Love. Kevin's brother going, uh, going to the Giants. That will be Sen Yin. with the New York Football Giants. Adam Humphreys to 249 for the Titans. So what's yours on? In 15 minutes. What, Sean, where, where are you getting this information? Do you have, do you have a DQ cam? <laughs> DQ ballpark cam? Out of 149, uh, TD Terrell Davis. Oh, Life what's Lock channel 111? Oh, there's this infomercial? I don't need LifeLock. I got ADT. I don't know, I thought... Paris Campbell. Rookie auto for the Colts, Charles. I thought Grunky would choke against the Yankees, but then he played the pitch pretty well. So, I don't know. I'm on the, uh, I'm on the Nats tonight. There's I value I in the Nats. That narrative might be kind of hyped now. Zach Greinke. He's, he, he, he did well against the Yankees. Nationals in like game four, too. Yeah. He didn't he didn't go very long. There's Tack McKinley to 199. Well, that's the plan. He only went like four innings, but... I don't know, but Scherzer, it's hard to bend against him. Heinz Ward, Brian Urlacher. Even with like a weird neck and a back. Back spasms? I don't know. That's a little concerning. He's got crazy eyes, though, man. He's got those crazy eyes. Yeah, these are kind of like Bowman Chrome. It's like Topps Chrome, almost, yeah. Troy Brown, 75. A lot of the values and a lot of the non-auto stuff. Yeah. Like the silvers and all that. Nice. Pat Tillman. Two out of ten. This guy is gold. That's pretty nice. 
Mark, Mark N with the Cardinals. And we'll do a we'll do an autograph recap at the end. And those low numbered stuff obviously will top load right away. There's Darius Slave. I think that that social anxiety thing. Um, I think he's said in recent interviews that he's pretty much has that under control, though. There's Latavius Murray to 175. I think he got married like four or five years ago, and I think that has really kind of settled down some anxiety. There's Evan White for the Buccaneers. I'm not sure if that social anxiety narr narrative is as, is as big anymore. I think Zach Ranky's pretty smart. I think he's going to be a, in the front office after he retires. All right, so so apparently the Jets' Jamal Adams talk was real. Well, I don't know who to believe. Jamal Adams seems to be pretty pissed, but the GM GM still saying that. Um, GM was saying that he was taking calls. There's Dre. That he was taking calls, but he wasn't actively shopping him. What's the difference? What's the, the, I think there's a subtle difference there. Yeah, you can take calls on Patrick Mahomes. Doesn't mean you're shopping right. Doesn't him. mean you're shopping him. Christian Kirk, Silver, Ezekiel, two forty nine. No, I mean I agree, Joe P. That social anxiety stuff doesn't ever go away completely. But I think he's will be early in his career. I think it was debilitating to his performance as a pitcher. But nowadays, I think it's much he more manageable. He's played on so many teams. Yeah, he's played on a bunch of teams, too. Royals, Brewers, Angels, Dodgers, Diamondbacks, and Astros. Kind of crazy. He's Bobby Wagner he's, to 175. Well, like or something. Yeah. And he's, been, he's, as recently as a few years ago, he's still in, like, Cy Young lines. Yeah. Well, he had that season with the Dodgers. 2015. Yeah, I think only it was Kershaw that beat him out. There's Barry Sanders to 199. And there's Debo Samuel. To 149. And there's another Latavius Murray to 199 for the Saints. Oh, debilitated his ability to sign. I think he's just a just a surly guy though. In terms of like short press conferences and like, he's just not a very talkative dude. I don't think that's his thing. At a one four and Clayton Thorson or being being nice to kids in spring training. I don't know if I would be nice to him all that money. I'd be like, there's Le'Veon Bell to Le'Veon to two forty nine. So, so what story is what story do we believe that they were actually shopping Jamal Adams, and then he got pissed, or that they were just taking calls of Jamal Adams? There's Kevin, but Jamal Adams making it seem like he was like Patrick Mahomes or something like that. Like, it's like kind of sensitive. Yeah, yeah you're not, you're not a. Not as quite a superstar yet. He's a good player, but he was talking like he was like Joey Bosa or like Tim Brown or something like that. Or was Warren Sapp to twenty five? Or Nick Bosa? He's pretty good though. Jamal Adams is great, but and safety's not like the hottest. Well, yeah, exactly. So like, you know, there's DeAndre Baker for the Giants. Sent in with the Giants. Right, right, right. He compared himself to Brady and Aaron Donald, which was like, ah. Those are the same players who get so offended when their Madden rating comes out, and it's not as high as they think. Right, right, they right. They start crying about it on Twitter. And they, like, threaten, like, the devs of the game and all that. Yeah, that's like, just that's Like, just you so never played football? 
Yeah, what do you know? It's like, what, can a football player, like, go on Madden and start writing himself? It's Z- Xavier and Howard to 175. I mean, Baker Mayfield said that today. You see that? Yeah. He's like, I don't need he, to... he got he got surly with a reporter and it was just he like just walked out. Walked out. There's Hawk T.J. Hawkinson, forty nine out of forty nine. I think it was a stupid question. He asked yeah, it was. It was something like, oh yeah, were you happy with the drive that you didn't score a touchdown or something? Like, obviously not. But like, but yeah, you can't. But that's a reporter's out. job to kind of ask those stupid questions and then hope that you melt down like this and now it's a huge story. I was going to say you wouldn't see the Patriots doing it, but I bet Belichick has. He actually has, so maybe you wouldn't see them do that. There's DJ Moore. It's a 249. Right, he big-timed that report. He's like, you never played. Maybe Brady will sign with the Browns next year and Baker can go to the <laughs> Patriots. There's Caden Smith to 75. Everyone's talking about how Brady's a free agent. Yeah, he's got he's selling his house. Yeah. He's got the house up on market. His buddy Alex Guerrero has yeah. the house up yeah. on market. So he's ready to go, apparently. I was watching the Baker highlights versus Kansas last year though, man. Sensational signatures, Preston Williams. He's grabbing his crotch in the sideline and stuff. Yeah. I think Baker I think he's feeling he's feeling himself too much. Like yeah. he's like, I got all these well, commercials, I got all You have these. Odell and all that. That didn't help. There's Preston Williams, Dolphins. That'll be for. Odell Beckham talks more than Cheyenne. the history of any player ever. All he cares about is like his wa- wearing his watch. Oh no. Oh no. They're they're, a little, they're extra slippery this year. Yeah. Out of 175, Riley Ridley. These are just the plates. I think there's like a little lip right there too. It's, it's on the tables uneven right there. I think the kid reporters cost it. Devin Bush, get out of here, kid reporters. Devin Bush is second, going to Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. Chargers? That'd be kind of weird. I could see him going to like the Bears. Tom Brady to the Bears? Yeah. That would be wild. I mean, because they have to win next year or else they're pretty much done. So here. They're in kind of win-now mode. I think Matt Nagy doesn't keep that job, though. Well, those guys actually backed it up, Logan. Odell has done nothing the last few years. Dexter Williams to 199. And he's been on terrible teams. Owens, like, went to a Super Bowl, and, and T.O. was, or Shadow Tosinko was. There's Nick Vanette to 249. Ter- Terrell Owens went to a Super Bowl with a broken leg. Yeah, and he played. And he caught, like, two touchdowns. Who we got? Who do we got this time for the national anthem game seven? Uh-huh. I don't know who this is. Who's the guy doing the national anthem? Baseball. Justice Hill to 149. You should have it right there on the bottom of the screen. What's that movie with the puppets? Like, talk, it's like Team America or something. Have you ever seen those? Yeah. Are they funny? Team, Team America. Yeah, I've never seen them. You've never seen Team America? No. It's really good. Is there the song that goes, America? Yeah, that's the that, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great. From South, South Park. Guys. Deontay Thompson, Mark. There's some country singer. There you go. Yeah, it's a pretty solid national anthem. I think I hit a silver of Minshew. I'm not sure any ink. Alright, pretty pretty good pretty good national anthem. It's pretty solid. There's little Jordan Humphrey to one forty nine. Bowl's gonna come back and take over the job or no? I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> why why not just roll with Yeah. You're paying Foles all this money. They should have traded him to like Denver or something. Yeah. At Oliver to two forty nine. Well the NFL's weird because you can still do trades after. It's like 
Because I think Golden Tate got dealt after. It's Damian Williams who won 49. Someone did. You should watch Team America though. The South Park guys did it. And uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty hilarious. If there was ever a change to our national anthem, I would advocate it to be that. To be that. That's a good one. America, F yeah. Saving the day from the mother effing day, yeah. It's a good song. Colts, Charles. What's up, Cam? What's going on? You're at a Game 7 party? Thanks for wishing the gang luck. There's Geronimo Allison to 149. Oh, that's the last box? Boom! Flying, folks. There's Clocking Hunter. In at 15 minutes. Hunter Henry, that's fast. There's Kalen Bellage to 175. Who does everyone have for the World I know it's a football break, but who, who does everyone have for the World Series? Bradley Chubb to 199. TJ says, let's go, Nats. Cam wants the Nats. There's Calvin Johnson to 175. I'm on the Nats. I think we'll find out who's going to be right really quick in the first inning because if Scherzer's neck back is a little uh, shaky, there's Jarvis Landry at 249, then that might, that might be curtains for the Nationals. But if he looks good... And there's Devin White. Rookie auto for Robert and the Buccaneers. I think that's your second one, Robert. Nice, Devin White. Oh, I missed that shot. Yeah, well, it's the national anthem. Uh, re respect for the anthem. We're also amateur uh, national anthem singing uh, hobbyists, enthusiasts, critics. I like to be like, hey, was that a good anthem or not? We've seen some bad... Remember the... Uh, I was going to say Carl Weathers. Boss man, who, who is the, uh, the, the track runner, Carl something, who did a terrible national anthem? Carl Lewis. Carl Lewis, right. Oh, right. Why did I blank on Carl Lewis? LJ Collier, 249. If you want to see a bad national anthem, look up... Uh, Look up Carl Lewis doing the national anthem. It is pretty terrible. I think after some high profile bad anthems, there's James Conner at 75. I really think that everyone just goes, let's just get professional singers, like people who know what they're doing to the national anthem. There's Bryce Love to 149. I think there's another Bryce Love right there. Is that the, is that the uh, RPA? It is. Two-color patch and autograph. Bryce Love for the Redskins. Rick Thomas with the Redskins. And Sean, Logan says Astros. Sean also says Astros for the win. Hashtag Mattress King. He's, he's with Mattress King. I'm with Mattress King. What do you think of the Bucks GM, uh, Jason Lick? Possible dummy Twitter. He has a dub. What is he? What's he saying in the uh, in his burner account? There's Landon Collins to 199. There's Jordan Scarlett. For the Panthers, that's Robert and uh, his other last spot mojo team. Well, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why people like that would have a sort of a dummy account. There's Devin Bush a second to 199. Didn't help Kevin Durant with his with his accounts. It doesn't help. I think the didn't the G oh 
Nick's saying it's not the GM for the Bucks. So, Oh, it says Jason Licht, executive who is the general manager of Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's that's the Wikipedia. No, Sean saying that there's all sorts of connections linking him to that account. The James One One guy, because I read it, I, it was on the NFL. Right? I remember that guy posting on like sports card forums. Oh, the Jameis one of he one? Has, he has, like, the biggest collection of Winston rookies. Or, like, the oh, ones. I see. So everyone thinks... But it's Deontay Johnson out of 25. I don't think it's actually Oh, well, there you go. Fact checked. Taylor Rapp. Unless, unless, the, unless the Bucks GM drafted Jameis Winston, invested in the Jameis Winston cards... <laughs> There's Taylor Rapp. Rams. That'll be for Brian Langley. There's Derwin James to 149. Ryan Finley getting the start this week, ladies and gentlemen. Andy Dalton not happy. He was like, I wish I would have known. There's Deion Sanders Silver. Nice. Hakeem Butler to 175. And then... There's Minshew. Because Andy Dalton was like, then me and my agent could have explored trade options. Who wants Andy Dalton? I guess the Bears would take Andy Dalton, right? Let's slide this stack over here. So here are all the, all the stacks right over there. I guess I should have kept the Nick Cam on so you can see all the stacks. There you go. There's Richard Sherman to 75. And there's Travis Fulham for the Detroit Lions. It's another Lion for Josh Pruce. To 75. I'll have I'll have to look it up, Sean. But there, so there's a video breaking down how this could be connected. Oh, as a former uh, FBI voice analyst, there's Brian Urlacher. I'll put my finely tuned ears to that video. There's Vaughn Miller to 199 for the Broncos. There's Arden Key for the Raiders to 249. And behind Drew Bledsoe is Anthony Johnson. That's a catch. It's a Buccaneer for Robert. Forty six out of one forty nine. There's Jalen Ferguson to 99. Easton Stick, rookie silver for the Chargers. That'll be for Mike Mock. Uh, and 67 out of 175 AP, Adrian Peterson, or AD, all day. There's Cleland Farrell to 199. We got Clayton Thorson to 249. And Brandon Cooks to 99. No, 7 out of 25. Brandon Cooks to 25. That'll be for the Rams. That's for Brian Langley. 
And we got Kyler Murray. 42 out of 75. Autograph. Nice. Rookie auto for Mark N. And the card. There's a Kyler Murray commercial right now for Thursday Night Football. Cardinals went outright? Wow. You heard it here first, folks. Cardinals win outright from Nick Jaspi. It is. Thursday night game. Larry Fitz has seven touchdowns. Wow, seven, seven touchdown game. Retires after the game. Nick Bose is a loser. Whoa. He was at the rookie premiere. He's such a dud. I mean, Joey Bosa wasn't as wasn't very no, exciting either. It, it was like Joey Bosa. Like, imagine his brother. That's Nick Bosa. Joe <laughs> Noah Fant to one seventy five. Yeah. Other than that, just dud. Terrell Davis, Alshon Jeffrey to one ninety nine. Well, the Bosas are listening. I just want to say, I've always been a fan. Please come on our airway. Welcome to break with us anytime. Look at this dick right here. Dick Buckus. 172 out of 249 for the Bears. Ron Hollins. Nice dick. There's Eddie George for the Titans to 149. Jabril Peppers. Giants to 175. And there's Mikkel Hardman Jr. Red Wave Rookie Auto. Kansas City Chiefs, the X line with the speed, sir. Looks like Game 7 is starting. Nothing more exciting than a Game 7 with a title on the line. 85 out of 149. Kenyon Drake starting for Arizona. Less than a week with the team. They don't really need Kenyon Drake. They have Chase Edmonds. Chase Edmonds is your guy. There's Tack McKinley to 199. Trey Turner lines out to third. Points. Chase Edmonds is out. Oh no, Kenyon Drake, oh no. I've got, there's some fantasy lineups that I need to fix now. Cameron Brait, 249. Come on, Chase. Ooh, Anthony Barr, gold vinyl. A bar of gold. Two out of five for the Vikings. Roy with the Minnesota Vikings. Roy. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Cam Newton to 149. And Rodney Anderson, sensational signatures for the Bengals. The Ryan Finley era starting for the Bengals, Michael Gallucci. If he, play, if he plays well, that'd be good for the hobby. Hashtag good for the hobby. All right, so winner take all on the points. Yeah, Granty does look good so far. Next box right here. Good luck. Ooh, got him. Adam Eaton was flying down the line, too. Tim Brown to 199. 
Granky's a pretty good fielder. I don't know why he, he took it. Maybe Trinos had a better angle. Mac Wilson, return of the Mac. Mac Wilson Browns. That goes to Glenn. Riley Ridley, 35 out of 75. Bears with that one. And Rendon grounds out. One, two, three. Will Fuller to 199. Deshaun Hamilton to 249. Andy Isabella, a pass catcher for the Kyler Murray we just pulled, goes to Mark. There's Danny Amendola, 249. You see a color burst, where? Love those color bursts. Those look pretty sharp. Earl Thomas. Muhammad Sanu to 149. Still Falcons edition there. Going to Willie. There's Kiko Alonso to 175. Dolphins. We've got Justin Tucker to 149. There's Marcus May to 199. And Justice Hill. Justice being served to Rick Thomas and the Ravens. got one two three four boxes to go good luck everybody slide this one over here got Irv Smith jr. to 199 let's see how Max Scherzer looks Granky looked great this Ty Johnson Lorenzo Carter, 249 for the Giants. Let's, let's see where his velocity is at. We want to see him right around 94, 95. If his neck and back are working. 97. All right, looks like it's okay. There's Dawson Knox to 49. Another 196. But 2 0 on Springer. Steve Large into 199. And we got Lonnie Johnson Jr. Red Wave autograph for the Texans. And that will be for the X Line, who has Houston. Out for the year, J.J. Watt, right? It's, it's rough to see great players like that, just bodies falling apart on them. Deontay Johnson to 149.
Jason Pierre Paul. Alex Barnes to 175. Austin Hooper having a nice season too. Torn Peck, right? Ow. Doesn't sound nice. There's Easton Stick. That goes to Mike and the Chargers. Springer pops it up. Terry McLaurin to 249. How many years has he been playing in the league, Sean? J.J. Watt. There's Bradley Chubb to 99. Tim Brown to 175. Logan doesn't think he'll retire. I don't know. I mean, oh, look at this. What's this? 8 out of 25. Isaac Bruce. Nice one for the Rams. Franchise Legends autograph. And that is for Brian Langley. I think if uh, if J.J. Watt had suffered like maybe multiple concussions or something like that, I could see him wanting to hang him up. But I think he might want to work his way back from... But it's, he's just been injured so often in recent seasons. Like, I mean, I don't know. How many times does... You know, how many times does he want to rehab and get back into it? It's got to be demoralizing to... He was playing pretty decently this year, too. There's Jack Doyle. 29 out of 75 for the Colts. I mean, he wasn't like unstoppable J.J. Watt from before, but... I think, I mean... I don't know. You can't have him out on every snap. I think he's been, he's been playing a lot of snaps. I don't know why they haven't, like... You know, I guess what's I guess load management is the right word these days. I don't know why they don't load manage like JJ Watt knowing his injury history. It's Travis Fulham to one forty nine. But I can see him giving it giving it another go, but if he suffers another injury like this, I think maybe maybe he'll hang him up. With Dylan Mitchell, Jared Cook to one seventy five. Damian Williams, James White to 199. There's Ben Rothsberger to 249. Mr. Mullai, we were talking about him earlier. There's Aaron Rodgers to 75. And Redemption snuck up on me. Rookie autographs, David Montgomery for the Bears. And that will be for Ron Hollins and the Chicago Bears. There's Kalen Bellage, 15 out of 25 for the Dolphins. And there's Alex Barnes for the Tennessee Titans, E8 with the Titans. There's Calvin Johnson to 99. Keelan Cole to 249. 
Quincy Noonwa to 149 for the Jets. And two boxes to go. Whoa, hey oh Sean. It's a family show. I don't know if I can repeat that. But that was a good one. Here are our final two boxes right here. It's better than zero, EA. I thought you'd be thanking me. Guess not. Out of 249, Chris Jones. There's Amari Cooper, Ed Oliver to 99. There's Ladanian Tomlinson to 49. Oh, it's better than zero, EA. Better than none. That means your that means your Josh Jacobs is much more valuable. There's less of them. Zero Josh Jacobs. Drew Locke. Denver Broncos. That will be, we might see him start by before the end of the year. That'll be for David Jane. Drew Locke, let's see, let's see what he has. Maybe end of the season we might see him in a few weeks or so. There's Kirk Cousins, 249. Sorry about that. More points. Winner take all the points. Richard Sherman is 75. Julian Love to 175. Irv Smith Jr. to 199. And Amon Green, 49 out of 50. Franchise Legends, nice green parallel. Matches the color of the team. Charles, Packers. Packers kind of rediscovering their running game with Aaron Jones. All right, final box coming up. Good luck, everybody. There's Darius Leonard to 175. Marquise Blair, Saquon Barkley to 249 for the Giants. Dre Greenlaw to 149. An expert in green law, from what I heard. David Johnson to 175. Marcus May to 199. Joe Montana, 2 out of 10. Franchise Legends autograph. Wow. 
So that goes to the X line and the Niners. Soto's got on base again. That's your MVP, right? For the Na if the Nationals win, Juan Soto's got to be one of the one of the front runners for the World Series MVP. There's Steve Largent to 199. And a redemption. Second Joe. Is that the second one? And just one Josh Jacobs. We specifically requested the Raiders cases too. We are like, hey, give us the Raiders cases. There's TJ Hawkinson to 249. EA guessing... Marquise Brown, yeah, he's a notorious non-signer. That's what EA's guess is. Josh Pruce guessing Minshew. Is he a redemption? We have seen zero Minshews. I'll say... Nick says there's Neon Deion Sanders. Yeah, Irv Smith. Sean says Irv Smith. <laughs> Sean said it. I say Irv Smith Jr. Whoa! One of one. One of one, Roger Staubach. Wow. I was going to say, we didn't hit a black finite one of them. We have. Oh, we have? There was one, a Buccaneer. I missed it. Well, and I had to go back and look for it. We haven't hit one while I've been in the room. There you go. Roger Staubach, one of one, going to Ron Hollins and the Cowboys. Here I go, all the Cowboys. They were the last team. Last. There it is. Run. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. All right. We'll have to make our own video, Sean. Well, the evidence in that video was like, oh, they sound alike. Rock Yasin to 99. All I know is I remember him being banned. All right, it's like it's like it's like a recording of like Jim Nance broadcasting the game and me talking. Everyone would think, oh, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, or if like you know <laughs> Michael Jackson sang and I sang, it'd be pretty. Alive. It'd be it'd be pretty similar. Like it's like if you closed your eyes we and you listen to any, we don't share anything. Right. Like other than voice. If you if you listen to Michael Jackson songs and then you listen to Nick singing and you're like, oh, it's the same thing. I'm talking Jackson Five. All right. No, like A, A, B, that's Jackson 5. Right, right, Jackson 5 days, yeah. A, B, C, as easy as 1, 2, 3. It's Tony Pollard. I forgot about him. It's another cowboy. That goes to Ron Hollins. There wasn't a Bucks 101 in this one. A few cases ago. Yeah. A few cases back, Robert. I saw that RJ Barrett. That was a nice R.J. Barrett out of the NT Collegiate. All right, let's give away some points. Let's give away some money, and then we'll do a quick little recap right here. All right. First of all, everyone has a shot at the points. And if you bought at least two teams, you have a shot at money as well. If you bought four teams like Brian Langley, you get two entries in the break credit promo. 100 bucks of break credit. Not too shabby. Charles bought two. He gets an entry. So did David. So did EA. The X line bought four teams. He gets two entries. Josh got two. He gets one. Gallucci had two. He gets one. Rick T, two. He gets one. Robert with two. He gets an entry. So does Ron. There you go. So you have a one spot out of the twelve will get a hundred bucks of break credit. That's some pretty good, uh, pretty good odds. I, I want to say. All right. Good luck. After eight times on the randomizer, six and a two, one. These are for the points. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time after eight. We've got Brian Langley. Oh, it's Brian Langley. Sorry, I was just 
distracted. Brian Langley, you have the points after eight. About to copy the whole list. Don't even do that. These two are yours. And now the money. Six and a two, eight times. Name on top gets a hundred bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Name on top, the X line. hundred bucks of break credit going your way, Josh. Congrats to you. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Really appreciate it. Here is a quick recap. Here's what we saw in this 12 box. Pick your team number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's a one of one. That's Joe Montana. I'm on green. Some pretty nice stuff. Jack Doyle, Isaac Bruce, another legend right there. Silver Easton Stick was pretty cool. We got that Anthony Gold Bar to five. Mikkel Hardman, Kyler Murray, green. That's to 75. That's pretty cool. That's a wrap. Taylor wrap. Bryce Love RPA. Paris Campbell. Devin Bush, etc., etc. Hawkinson there. Debo. Devin. Pat Tillman. Two out of ten. That was pretty cool. Paris Campbell and Julian Love started things off. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team six in the books. Thanks for watching. This is Joe. We'll see you next time for the next break on jazbeescasebreaks.com.